He's won 10 of 31. This is his toughest test as they come forward. Lavra Joe. Ray Jones, Kyle Harper, third in the Mount Eden Sprint. Winner two starts ago, defeating Swing Band, who had the drop on him. And Galactic Star, the 11-year-old. A little bit longer in the tooth than his counterparts. But he has been there and he has done that. The Swan Draft Bunbury Cup for 2024. They file up behind the gate. Golden ticket into the Fremantle Cup. Nullable horses here. Such a prestigious race that has continued to build in recent years. They're ready. And the green light goes on. They're away. Away beautifully off the inside. Swing band. And now coming forward after the start was still the show. Al Capone burrowing up through there as well. And looking to try and get in behind the leader was Mighty Ronaldo. And he was able to do that ahead of Valentine's Brook, who was beaten for speed early. In the moving line next is Never Ending. He's going to be one out and two back in the early stages as Jumping Jack Max starts to roll forward as still the show eventually gets to the breeze. Cordero caught in the moving line. Penny Tiger went back to the inside. Hector was next. Behind those Lavra Joe and Galactic Star. Down to the winning post the first time in the Swan Draft Bunbury Cup for 2024 and Swing Band is controlling at the front end. It was nice and easy this first 500 metres. Around the outside, jumping Jack Mack put into the race, gets to the breeze. One out and one back will be still the show and Mighty Ronaldo got into the ace position. He's behind the leader. Three back the pegs as they head into the back straight. Now we have Valentine's Brook and on the outside shuffled back El Capone Penny Tiger a little bit keen the inside never ending settling pretty well he has four behind him they include Hector Galactic Star the 11 year old to the inside covered up by the giant killer in Cordero and Lavra Joe is at the tail of the field lead time went through 112.12 up towards the top turn and in front, it is Swing Band leading the way for Bell and Symington. Mighty Ronaldo will have use of the breather counting sprint lane. Here comes the stable mate. The favourite is moving into it, never ending around the outside. Jumping Jack Mack was kidding for cover. Starts to boot up in the centre and make him work just a touch. Valentine's Brook, three back the pegs. Penny Tiger very keen. First quarter, 30.7. Shuffling back through the field now is still the show. Behind those runners there next is over on the inside Hector towards the tail we have El Capone Galactic Star Lavra Joe and Cordero gets down to the inside allowing Lavra Joe to move one spot closer into the back straight they're about to run in front here after that 30.7 it is Swing Band on the outside in second place never ending the four year old got to the leader's wheel as they head into the back 28.8 he's up for his toughest test how good is he leader's back here is Mighty Ronaldo still travels pretty well one out of one back stretching his neck jumping Jack Mack Valentine's Brook sweats on a clear run still the show Penny Tiger El Capone Hector Lavra Joe Galactic Star and at the tail was Cordero starting to drop out off the back section of the course 28.1 Swing Band comes to the turn on the outside never ending was not shaken off it's a half length away Mighty Ronaldo sweats on the run coming up wider on the track jumping Jack Mack and they were ahead of them by Valentine's Brook end of the straight here we go in front swing band never ending jumping jack mack coming up the inside mighty ronaldo jumping jack mack over the top of them jumping jack mack wins the bunbury cup second nearly a dead heat swing band val and through along the inside we had penny tiger and powering home was lavra joe mighty ronaldo couldn't finish it off never ending got tired valentine's brook not sure whether he got a clear runner hector el capone back in the field it was still the show.